Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Wilner, Division Director of Neurology at Regional One Health and Associate Professor of Neurology at the University of Tennessee Health Science Center. My tip today is the importance of giving and receiving feedback. Although I'm an Associate Professor of Neurology, I've never had any formal training in teaching. Consequently, when I learned about the Teaching Excellence course here at UT, I decided to take it. It's a nine-month class led by Amy Hall, and it was terrific. It allowed me to uh, introspect a little bit about what I knew, what I didn't know, and what I could do better. One of the tips that I'd like to share that I learned was the importance of getting feedback, of giving feedback to students and also receiving feedback. For example, every day on rounds, there are questions that come up where we need an answer. Should we prescribe an aspirin, for example, or should we prescribe anticoagulation? So I would assign that question to a student and say, present it to me tomorrow, give me 60 seconds, do a quick review. I usually felt a little guilty about making these assignments because I uh, created work for the student and um, you know maybe it's something I ought to just be doing myself, but there's just so many questions. During the feedback sessions, I learned that all of the students said this was one of the best parts of the rotation because they got to uh, contribute to the team because usually the medical students don't know enough neurology to make important contributions or just you know, trailing along. So they got to contribute and it helped them focus their studying. So it was a big surprise to me and it made me a better teacher. One of the downsides of feedback is that it can be intimidating. During the teaching excellence class, I learned one way to take the sting out of feedback and that's to make it routine. At the beginning of the week, I tell my students and residents, at the end of the week, we're gonna have a feedback session. And you're going to tell me how this week could have been better for you, a better learning experience, and I'll give you feedback on your performance. I find that this approach makes it much easier when the end of the week rolls around and we sit down to have feedback because we're relaxed, we're prepared, we know it's going to happen, uh, the week's over, so there's not a whole lot we can do about it, and, uh, but we can move forward, and it's a positive experience for me and for the student.